smoke crack with the Batman. Bros and girls, I'm your toy bro Matt. Your Comic Con was last week, and I managed to get a bunch of stuff from that. Compliments to my buddies Ricky and John that went up there. I got invited, but it was like last minute, so sadly I couldn't go. But we're definitely gonna go next week. And Friday was Force Friday, so if you didn't get on these guys, like they went pretty quick. I went back today to check for some more. And they were pretty much all gone. And Torbo Rob hooked it up, hid this behind the jack stands and automotive so I could get me a Sith Trooper because I only saw one of those at GameStop and I'd rather try to save the money. But yeah, the Mandalorian, he's hot right now. That's what everyone, everyone that got one's posting pictures. So pretty cool. So I just wanted to touch base on that real quick. But the highlight of it is the Mezco 112. Black Mask Batman Double Pack, which is a Mezco exclusive. Which, if you watched my last video, I was explaining that this thing's already going for like 150 bucks just for the figure. It sold out in like eight minutes, and sadly, that's because of like scalpers and stuff. Honestly, I mean, they got it already posted for sale before they're even out of the convention, and it, it sucks that you got to go through that. But like I said, I was fortunate enough, my boys hooked me up. So we're going to cut the bullshit, get right into him. And I'm going to focus more on Black Mask because the Batman, I'll, we'll cover him a little bit. But he's going to be very similar to the PX exclusive Batman, the blue and gray one. So if you guys want to check that video out, it's probably like two or three videos back. I'll put it up in the, the, the channel descriptions and all that. And you can check it out there. So let's get him open. Black Mask from DC and... Basically, the Batman, like I said before, he is essentially the PX exclusive Batman, the blue and gray one, but he's all black. Like, I definitely, if they had got, gone with the yellow bat symbol, that would have been, it would just made the, the figure stand out a little bit more. There's nothing wrong with him. He looks really good, but my preference, I got to go with the PX. I don't have the Onyx edition. That's the only one I don't have, so I can't compare him to that, but that one does look a little pretty dope. I don't know if he's the same exact thing as this because he looked way shinier. Like like he's he's got a gloss finish to him. So essentially he comes with the same exact accessories as the other ones come with minus a couple things. He doesn't have the kryptonite knuckle duster. He doesn't have the drone and he doesn't have the battle damaged head with him. The alternate head or the pointy ear head. So he's actually a little different. He's just got the short head. The short eared head and the unmasked Bruce Wayne head. So essentially he comes with a lot less stuff than the other ones actually came with. It doesn't hurt the figure at all. And you can swap those heads if you have the gray and black one like me. I can swap those heads, the battle damage one and the longer ear one onto this figure. And they don't look bad at all. They, they, like I said, essentially it's the same exact figure, just a different colored suit. So that's why I didn't want to be concentrate mainly on him because you can go back and look at any one of the, the reviews not just ours any mezco sovereign knight batman review and you're gonna see basically just the differences are colors and a couple accessories so but he's not a bad batman at all and i might keep him i might trade him off to one of my buddies that, that wants another batman because i got impatient when the px1 didn't come out when it was supposed to it got pushed back to like september or something like that so I went ahead and bought the regular Sovereign Knight. So now I have three. So I might let this one go to my buddy. I'm not. Now Black Mask is definitely the highlight of this pack. Even though he's he's nothing fancy. He's just a dude in a suit. But they actually did do a really good job on the suit. He has a long sleeve shirt underneath. And uh, my boy John already sent me a picture. Somebody pulled the jacket off. Which you would have to break the, the seam right here on the jacket to actually do that. I don't want to do that. But, dudes, it took me, like, 10 or 15 minutes of really fucking with it to get that left arm to bend the way. I couldn't tell which way the joint is. And I was saying, it's, you got to be really careful with these, especially these ones, because, like, Batman, you can kind of tell where that joint is. These ones, it's really hard to tell. So I just had to be so careful to try not to break them because I would, that shit would break my heart. Because what am I going to do then? i got to send it to Mezco somehow and, and get it replaced and prove that I got it at New York Comic Con. So that would have been a hassle because they're kind of iffy on whether or not they'll fix things. And please excuse 
my half done diorama i'm still working on this wall but i figured i'd throw it in there it, it, just to make my background a little better but he comes with a lot of cool stuff he's got a briefcase i'll show you you got to put the batteries in it you take the plate off put the batteries in it and when you open it up it actually lights up which is really cool nice little accessory to add to your collection especially for me when i take my, my do my photography and i like dark lighting sometimes it works really good for some figures which it should look good by the time i pop it in there and then he's got like a nine millimeter or a colt pistol which the cool thing about these is they almost all the guns that mezco makes functional functional are functional the slide moves the clip comes out and it comes with a nice bullet effect and then he's got like a heckler and kosh like mp3 or something like that i'm not sure what kind of gun or a scorpion or something the clip comes out and goes back in and it's almost the exact same one as the clown prince joker so i'm sure that you can use the machine gun effect that that comes with on top of the bullet effect that comes for the pistol so that's really cool um like i said it's a beautiful figure he looks really good i like the suit you can if you have like i have the john berthal punisher i put his head on there so it looks kind of cool like that maybe you want frank castle like he just got back from a funeral so you can do a couple different things with this figure and as far as like i said the accessories he's got a couple closed fist hands like a regular closed grip hand and then two trigger finger hands and then the open hand that you see there so he comes with a little bit of stuff and understandably because they've got so many batman things and only a few of the villains that they put out so far <clears throat> this is kind of a must-have for anybody i was just talking about that the other day i was like man i really hope they do a bunch of the batman villains and then bam this one dropped sold out in like eight fucking minutes and then at new york comic-con they show mr freeze which he looks awesome like i i can't wait to see that figure in person and i'm gonna try my best to get that one the best that i can hopefully we'll get on it because i just you better get on cable and you better get on gambit because they're already selling out i've locked mine in so i'll definitely probably doing a video on those but yeah i want to complete the batman villains so i've got deathstroke black mask and joker and we'll consider catwoman part of that universe so maybe they'll do a red hood and a robin that would be really dope but if you gotta have all the Batman stuff, because I, it ain't just Toy Roll Rob that's a Batman fan. I'm a huge Batman fan too. I have tons of them, but they kind of my Deadpool stuff kind of that that's my side of Toy Bros and his is Batman. So we just kind of doesn't mean I don't like Batman. I love Batman. I have a shitload of them. But yeah, this figure is dope. And as you can see for articulation, he's pretty good. Even the jacket doesn't bunch up too bad. So like I don't try to push it with a new figure because if like I said, if I break this damn thing. I'm screwed, but he's got double jointed elbows, shoulder articulation, and the elbows, that's where the articulation is. It swivels in a ball in here. Then you got wrist articulation. It rotates and moves up and down. Same thing with this side. Uh, yeah, he's got ab crunch. He's got a solid neck, kind of like the Punisher. It's not two pieces. It's just solid neck, but that's why I said that you can actually swap that head with the Punisher, so that's kind of cool. And then, of course groins hips all that good stuff double jointed knees ankles no toe articulation but mezco doesn't really do that but like they just did really good on all the details you got the vest underneath you can see the tie poking out and the belt no back pockets or anything but all in all like i said if you managed to get this and got the double pack it went for like 150 so you're actually getting them for 75 bucks a figure which is really good if you can get them a little bit cheaper than retail or what they normally go through for like 80 to 85 dollars that's good but i'm hoping for anybody that missed out on this especially because i wasn't sure if i was gonna be able to get it or not but i'm hoping maybe they do like the arkham knight version maybe they'll give them the white suit or a different color suit and maybe some different accessories instead of making them just exclusively for bonus right now. from black paste toys our boy down in sarasota florida that's hooking us up with mezcos he's helping the channel out a lot uh, I'm going to put a link in the description to his shop, and this is his poster right here. But he hooked us up with a John Stewart Green Lantern, which is pretty dope. But the only problem I'm having with this figure is his right closed fist ring hand is supposed to light his lantern up. Well, they didn't put batteries in it. You got to put them in. And I used three different tip sizes. I have a screwdriver with all kinds of attachments. I'm an AC guy, so I have little screwdrivers for all kinds of stuff. And I cannot get that screw out. They torque that damn thing down so freaking hard. So sadly, I can't show that to you because I don't want to strip the screw out and end up messing it up, not being able to put batteries in it. So I'll have to mess with it for a little bit. But for now, 
Check out Unparalleled Universe or D-Amazing. They've got good reviews on these, and they'll show you a good example if you want to check that out. But like I said, I apologize for that. But this is a pretty dope Green Lantern, man. Like, he looks good. I love this head that they added to him. The Both face molds, they just they did a knockout job. Mezco, that's one thing that they, they do really good is some of the face molds. Like, Aquaman looks like Aquaman. John Bernthal looks like John Bernthal. Aquaman, Jason Momoa, I'm sorry. <laughs> but they do really phenomenal job on the face molds and the paint jobs like you can really you can see like the gloss in his eye and everything i like both heads but i'm gonna prefer the bald headed version with the mustache and goatee or the older version of john stewart <clears throat> but he comes with all kinds of cool ass constructs that come out of his ring the one you see here is kind of like a smoking like energy power from the green ring coming off of it. it looks really cool that like that like it's, it's leaving some residue after you just got done using it he's got this star shaped one it's really cool but also looks really fragile which I, honestly i'm sorry mark but i dropped the figure but it's okay it didn't break it didn't snap anything so thankfully that went by good and he's got like this green energy ball one it, it just looks like his whole hand is engulfed with the power of the ring that's pretty cool and then he's got like a blasting one comes with batteries and then he's got an extra emblem for his chest piece right here just in case maybe that one falls off i'm not sure but yeah he's a really dope figure like i, I kind of want to get one for myself now i want a freaking red lantern guy gardener which i know will never happen but maybe just maybe if you can make us atrocitus red lantern and a deck star to go with it please mezco like hopefully They'll cover most of the DC characters, but I don't see them doing that. My favorite lanterns are the red lanterns. They represent rage. And if you guys don't really know the story behind all the different lanterns, they all kind of have different emotions for each ring that each one has for each group. Like Sinestro Corps, they're not yellow lanterns. They're called Sinestro Corps. They represent fear. The red lanterns represent rage. The green lanterns, I think, represent like hope. Um, that, that should be the easiest one. The white lanterns represent life. Um, the indigo lanterns, I believe, is like love or something like that. And then, of course, the orange lanterns, which there's only one at the moment, which was Larflees. I'm not sure. I might be a little behind, but they represent greed. So they all, like, black lanterns represent death. It's got a really cool lore behind it, and I've said it before. Check out Blackest Night. You can even check out Brightest Day because they're kind of connected. But Blackest Night is a really awesome lantern story that involves all the superheroes, not just the Green Lanterns. It involves all the Lantern Corps, fucking half the Justice. Like, just, it, I mean, if you don't know what it is, it's basically Marvel Zombies, but DC. And I believe they did it before Marvel did. So they kind of might have come up with, the, review, with the, the idea. But, I mean, you have lots of others. I have the Black Lantern Hawkman. Uh, Black Lantern Superman, I have a bunch of them. They're really awesome figures, even though they don't have the greatest articulations like the other ones, but they're just really cool. Like, you see Mira's a Red Lantern, because Aquaman dies, and she, she just goes nuts and becomes a Red Lantern, so it's really cool. Definitely worth a read and checking out, even if you want to get on YouTube and just watch, like, a history of it. That's just as good, but I highly recommend that, and it's just, it makes the Green Lantern universe part of the dc universe it's definitely worth checking out so check that shit out this is a dope figure thank you black pace we'll be getting in contact real soon and uh that's gonna be it for today bros i hope you like all the mezcos i got and i hope you got some too and don't forget to subscribe and leave a like it helps the channel out a lot and we'll catch you in the next review peace bros